Well, my name is Miguel Tamburini, I'm originally from Venezuela, and I have been here in the United States for since 2013, and I have been throwing for a year now, this month, by, by the way, this month has been a year. Uh, I started throwing because I was stressed, I had uh, issues with my coworkers and with my boss, and I'm like, and I was driving through and I saw God with that throwing, and I'm like, hmm, I really want to try that. And when I went there and I started throwing, not only I'm f I fell in love with it, but after the first 30 minutes, I have like a weight less out of my shoulder, you know? I f it felt really good. It's like therapy, but cheaper. <laughs> and uh, and then I just started throwing. I joined the league. I got third place on my first league, got second place on my second league, and won the, first, uh, the third league, and I just, the, I will say that the moment that I really fell in love with the sport uh, last year in the World, the World Championship in Chicago, uh, I saw two things that changed my mind. First thing, the, the competition could be between a 16-year-old kid and a 60-year-old man, and it's just a start, it's just... And I think uh, women, men, I think it has no limits and I think that unification it's one of the things that makes uh, at throwing great. The other thing is that I saw that even when they were facing each other they were helping each other out. I saw a couple of games in which they were like they had a drop and when they had a drop the other guy went like no don't worry check it off check it off keep throwing and I and that's the first time that I see that on a sport. Yeah. I became an ads thrower and I became an ads coach and when I did that I became part of a family and um, it's, it's, it feels good to belong to, 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 you know, to a family like that. Uh, all my family is back in Venezuela, I have nobody over here and that really made a change. When you're over here and you're, you don't know anybody and then you start throwing with people and they become your family, it's, it's great. So in 2017 when they did the World Championship, everybody was still throwing at their venue. Uh, 2018 was the first, big, and the US Open too, but the championship in, 2008, in Chicago, uh, you had the opportunity of learning and seeing and watching all different styles and and that's when i saw uh, you know mario throwing the, the canadian flake and teaching everybody how to do it and then i saw john bradley and then i'm like hmm that looks that seems very effective you know and then it's a feedback a constant feedback every single time that you go to a tournament your learning curve shoots up real fast the, the fact that you have the opportunity of watching other people and their style, it helps you finding your own style, you know, you're not copying anybody, you're grabbing a little bit of everybody, and people is okay with that. There's nobody like, do not watch this, uh, no. Everybody's like, yeah, you know, throw. And I also think that the reason why that happens is that you have to be mentally there at all times. It doesn't matter how well you do, if you're not there mentally, this, uh, this sport, people think, oh, that's strong, it's about throwing axes. No, you gotta have a strong mind and focus and just get in there with that bullseye and don't think about anything else. And the first two tournaments will teach you that. The only message I will have for the ads community, the ads throwing community, is just keep throwing and teach people how to throw keep passing the ball around, you know? For an immigrant to, to be throwing and to be so welcome uh, on a family like that, strong family, it, it changes your life. That's why I decided to become a Nats coach and, you know, and then I'm the general manager at Godwood in Oklahoma and it will change your life. So keep teaching people how to throw. Keep passing the ball around.